all of us in this body, Republicans and Democrats alike, care about Amer Americans' health care. But many of us from both sides of the aisle don't care for this trillion dollar overhaul. And the fact is, the majority of Americans don't care for it either. Sadly, Mr. Speaker, the only bipartisanship we've seen surrounding this overhaul has been in opposition to it. And there's a reason for that. Health care is a very personal issue. And this overhaul will impact every man, woman, and child in this country. It will even affect future generations that have not yet been born. Mr. Speaker, this overhaul will have a huge impact on our parents, our spouses, and our kids. This is something that they'll be paying for for the rest of their lives. And for too long, Mr. Speaker, the majority in this body and the President of the United States have refused to listen to the American people. So, Mr. Speaker, I have a message for those Americans. We hear you. We hear you loud and clear. Because we believe, because we believe this government must stop spending money that it doesn't have. And this trillion dollar overhaul will do the opposite. We believe that this government must stop piling debt upon our children and grandchildren. And this trillion dollar overhaul will do the opposite. We believe that this government must stop raising taxes on small businesses and families. And Mr. Speaker, this trillion dollar overhaul will do the opposite. We believe that America is the land of innovation and the government must stop crippling job creators and entrepreneurs with oppressive mandates and taxes. And this trillion dollar overhaul will do the opposite. Mr. Speaker, we believe that in America, our government must not force those who fundamentally object to abortion to have to pay for it. And this and this trillion dollar overhaul does the opposite. And we believe in building upon what works in our current health care, Mr. Speaker, so that doctors in America can continue to provide the best care in the world. And this trillion dollar overhaul does the opposite. And Mr. Speaker, we believe that families and patients should have the freedom and the right to choose the doctors they want. And this trillion dollar overhaul will begin to take that freedom away. Mr. Speaker, if there's one thing that the American people have learned over the past year, it's that we are truly at a critical time in this country. We are at a crossroads. This trillion dollar health care overhaul before us today has caused a lot of fear and uncertainty. It's the latest part of an agenda that is being forced upon the American people that attempts to seize more control over the economy and our lives. The choices we make on deficit spending, higher taxes, energy security, and health care, they're all important. They're important because they will all determine what kind of country we want to be. And Mr. Speaker, the choice before us is very clear. The choice is whether we want to become a country that is unrecognizable or one that will fulfill the Gentlemen's American time dream. Has expired. I ask for, I ask for 20 more seconds. I yield the gentleman 30 more seconds. Or one that will fulfill the American dream so that we remain the most secure, most prosperous, freest country in the history of the world. Mr. Speaker, I urge my colleagues today to listen to the people and vote no against this legislation. And I yield back.